Hey guys, how's it going? Random Texan Stories here. Welcome to today's video where today I'm going to be reacting to the newest death battle that came out between Gojo versus Makima. This battle is definitely very interesting because of the fact that I may have done a story on both Gojo and Makima, well not Makima, but Gojo and a story of kind of a little bit of Makima being a part of it, respectively, but I've never seen, um, like I've seen Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man. Let's also go, let's also, let me say that going into this. I've only ever seen up to Chain, up to season one of Chainsaw Man, and I've only ever seen up to the, uh, the, um, the first arc of season two. And the movie, along with season one. That's about it. I have not seen this movie incident arc, along with anything else. So I have no idea what Gojo is capable of, nor his abilities. And same with Makima. I have no idea what Makima is capable of, but we shall go in that together and hope that nothing too spoiling is going to happen. Because I, for one, would like to know more about Chainsaw Man further down the line as it comes out. But we shall see. That being said, who do I think will win? Uh, Gojo. Just because of what I've seen of him. Just I haven't seen enough of Makima to be able to confidently replace my answer on Makima. So I'll wait until after the analysis. Until then, let us see what we got. Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerer Sensei. Makima, Chainsaw Man's head of Tokyo Public Safety. These two paranormal mentors are so strong that they change the very worlds they exist in. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Yep. Japan, December 7th, 1989. Satoru Gojo was born, and the world changed. And in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, invisible cursed spirits born from negativity threaten humanity. So it's up to the Jujutsu Sorcerers to do battle with them. And what better way to learn the trade than to sign up for Tokyo Jujutsu High? At this institution, a sorcerer will learn to harness their cursed energy, or the spiritual manifestation of intense emotion. It's like Ki, but if Ki desperately needed therapy. With it, sorcerers can boost their physicality yeah, and perform basically. devastating curse techniques. Anything from voodoo dolls to swapping places with mere claps. And lucky for humanity, Satoru Gojo's the best sensei a sorcerer could ask for. Gojo isn't just the best, he's known as the strongest. His very birth forced the strength of curses to exponentially rise. Like witnessing a world record get broken, cursed society shifted to match the might of Gojo's presence. As a kid, Gojo knew he was the shit. He wow. mastered the art of the riz, the hoops, and the curse murder. Oh yeah, the riz. Right. He's got Sorcerer all the rings. BFF. Together, they planned on changing Jujutsu society for the better. And if anyone could do it, Gojo could. Thanks to his bloodline, he got one of the most busted anime powers ever, Limitless. Limitless grants Gojo a nigh-perfect defense by actualizing the very concept of infinity. It creates an infinite space around himself, stopping anything coming his way. The dude is literally untouchable. Kind of. Gojo tailored Limitless to automatically detect an object's mass and velocity. As the difference between himself and an object decreases, Limitless halves the object's velocity. It's like Zeno's paradox. Think of it this way. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, first you gotta go halfway, then you gotta go another halfway, then another and another, and, and so on. With Limitless, you'll never arrive, just like my alimony payments. Hence, True. infinity. Yeah, it might Not sound complicated, but it basically like, creates a go. spatial force field around Gojo at all times. Techniques on this level would burn out other sorcerers in seconds. That's where Gojo's incredible six eyes come in. They let him see and near perfectly control cursed energy at the atomic level. So he'll basically never run out of juice in a fight. He isn't just built different, he was born different. Six eyes and limitless he give Gojo the power to manipulate up. space yeah. itself. Gojo's lapse blue technique attracts and condenses space into singularities. With reversal red, Gojo does the opposite, repelling space. Think push and pull. But you may be asking, how does one accomplish this with cursed energy? With math! <laughs> Curses! Exactly! Cursed energy is typically negative like with blue, but when multiplied by itself, negative cursed energy becomes positive, creating red. Oh, strawberry and blueberry! So, okay, what happens purple. when you combine a positive and a negative? Uh, grape? Zero! And by combining reversal red and lapsed blue, 
Gojo creates Hollow Purple, an enormous ball of curse oh, yeah. energy that literally applies the concept of zero to an opponent, crushing and repelling them into nothing. Gojo is a walking cursed Swiss army knife. Levitation, teleportation, even expanding limitless to fry his enemies. Gojo can also use positive energy to heal humongous wounds, and he's constantly refreshing his brain with it 24-7 to keep up oh, wow. with all of this. Still, there's one technique that costs more cursed energy than anything else in domain the sorcerer's expansion. repertoire. Infinite Every boy. sorcerer is born with an innate domain, a mental world shaped by their mind and heart. Add cursed energy to it, and these domains can be manifested physically. A technique called domain expansion. Every sorcerer worth their salt needs one, and you know damn well Gojo has the scariest. Unlimited Void. You get caught in this, your ass is grass. Exposure to Unlimited Void overloads your consciousness with a stream of infinite information. A mere fifth of a second of exposure can leave a normal person in a vegetated state for months. Too bad it requires oh, wow. so much energy you can only do it like once a day. Oh wait, except for Gojo who has done it multiple times in a row. Thanks Again, <laughs> six eyes. Quite frankly, Gojo was getting so strong that the axis of the Jujutsu world began to turn on him. Like the meta of a fighting game defined by one broken character, he defined the hierarchy of power in the sorcerer world. He alone was the honored one. His mere presence can cause yep. earthquakes. He outran sonic explosions and applied cursed energy within a microsecond. Gojo has been repeatedly stated by many to be the strongest sorcerer there is. That includes his ex-student Hakari who can dodge lightning or this little volcano headed curse Jogo the embodiment of oh my god fear of uh, fire, who can I'm gonna bring pause. down Jogo oh my god that guy basically Jogo's maximum power is way more than what we think like he is so strong like he is so strong the only it's just the bad news is that the only times we've seen him fight has been where he was cocky and had to fucking fight against Gojo <laughs> At least as far as I've seen. I don't know what he does later on, but hopefully we do get to see more of him. Because I would like to see what he does have up his actual gym and sleep. That doesn't mean he'll get dogged on. City shattering meteors, and Gojo kicked his ass with zero effort. But strength yep, alone good. was not enough to fix his cursed world. When Ghetto rejected Jujutsu society to forge his own justice, Gojo's philosophy changed. Instead of doing everything himself, he would teach a new generation of sorcerers to carry the torch when he could not. It's all about setting an example. If it means a world where his companions can stand shoulder to shoulder as equals, who cares if he's gotta show off a bit? It's a Gojo we all know and love. The Riz Master Daddy Gojo. Okay. Anyways, though. So that's... Hmm. Well, let's see what Mockingless got. Because I, I want to see what Mockingless got. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. And a giant AK-47 carpet bombed the neighborhood. The sky rains blood. Millions are dead. Dear God, wish it's the end times. Run away. Calm down. There's no reason to panic. It's just that in the world of Chainsaw Man, devils exist and your fear makes them stronger. Never mind. Panic. Remember that spider you shrieked at or the last time you cut yourself dicing onions? Now the spider and knife devils are the monstrous products of your nightmares, and they hate you specifically. The fearsome gun devil stood as the epitome of terror and destruction and was responsible for a countless loss of lives. But a group was formed to combat it and the other devils that plagued humanity. The Devil Hunters. Live in Japan yep. and get yourself a pesky zombie problem? It's time to call the 4th Division of the Public Safety Devil Extermination. A government-funded Devil Hunter unit led by a stone-cold vixen, Makama. She's dressed like Columbo with a blank stare and a sadistic streak. She's been in the game for a while and just found herself a new prize. The union of man and pet devil dog, Denji, the Chainsaw Man. Upon meeting him, she gave him a choice. Live under her as a human dog, or die by her hand as a devil. Sounds sketch, but Denji's brain was set to teenage boy, and Makama's hot! So in short order, Makama got a new pet. Makama may seem terrifying at first, but she is a dog lover and a cinephile. Though, you'd be ill-advised to mess with her. Sure, for her position, you'd expect her to know how to defend herself. Martial arts here, swordplay there, but devil hunters like Makama become real threats when they make contracts with devils. A classic Faustian bargain. Give something of yourself. The devil gives you power. She can call death upon anyone she chooses through a complicated ritual and even survive being shot 
through the head. Because, as they say in the Devil Hunter world, you need your screws loose to live. But she might sure. have more than a few screws loose because, in actuality, Makama is a devil herself. Gasp! There's no way this clearly evil character could be a villain in disguise. The Japanese government has been keeping a close eye on Makama well, ever since. Well, I obviously she knew she wasn't right, but I didn't know she was a devil herself. Well, I didn't actually. Okay. I guess to be clear, I knew that she wasn't human. I knew that for a fact just because of her eyes as well, but I didn't know she was a devil. At the very least, a devil like in the sense of Denji. Or maybe not in the sense of Denji. I'm not sure. What is Makima? born, rightfully so. She isn't some F-tier scrub like the bat or leech devils, she's the control devil, embodying humanity's collective fear of the oppressor. In a way, she's even more terrifying than the gun devil. Magma can exert absolute mental control Well, if she's the control devil, then she exerts control, right? So yeah, people, I think the one thing that most people would be afraid of would be control, considering the government and all that crap. Any creature she views as inferior to her, which is basically everyone. People, animals, even other devils become puppets under her command. She can even hijack their senses to listen and see whatever she wants. As a devil, Makama's far stronger, faster, and more durable than the average person. Plus, her metabolism lets her slam down as many beers as... Japan's populace. She wants to. So, uh, Magama, if you're into countlessly divorced alcoholic rednecks, uh, you know who to oh. call. By drinking blood, she can heal her injuries, and her sense of smell is so potent that it can spot targets from over 300 miles away. Not only can she control your mind, but your body too with telekinesis. She can mess up your internal organs or blow you away with finger guns. She doesn't shoot you with invisible bullets. She points at you and then a wound just happens out of nowhere. She controls all sorts of things with these ghostly chains that stab her victims. Once they're hooked, they're easier to control. Makaba has plenty of devils in her collection. There's the massive fox devil, the future devil for precognition, and a ton of devils that exist just to stab you. But I'm definitely all about the blow shit up devil, the undead party devil, the flamethrower devil, and the unholy matrimony that's the angel devil, which will make you see God before you die. Eh, after about the 20th time seeing God gets kinda old. Anyway, <clears throat> like other devils, Makamo can yeah, form well, contracts with people to give them power. But unlike Inspired other devils, her control what? powers allow her to force people into contracts that exclusively yes, benefit her. Devil? Like when she forced Japan's prime minister into a contract that states, and I quote, <clears throat> any attack made on her will be changed into appropriate illnesses or accidents among Japanese citizens. Uh, what? The verbiage of Makamo's contract is worded specifically so that she quickly heals from any damage that is perceived to be an attack. Attack, transferring said damage okay. to some poor random citizen of Japan. What? Oh, man. Imagine like taking a shit and wait. So how would this be possible then? Just theoretically speaking, she could theoretically take this fight forever then and use the entire populace of Japan. Akuma gets hit and whoops, guess you're wiping at the pearly gates. With these abilities and contracts, Makuma set out to create the world that she wanted. No more pain. No more war. No more bad movies. The world would be perfect, but she needed the Chainsaw Devil to do so, who Why? just so happened to be living as Denji's heart. Yep, that cute doggo is actually the Chainsaw Devil. Ooh, talk about shitty luck, kid. In the depths of hell, Makuma watched in awe as the Chainsaw Devil literally ate devils and eradicated plagues from existence. Because of the Chainsaw Devil, in this world, concepts like nuclear bombs, HIV, and even Nazis do not exist. Oh, what? Literally ate the concept of Nazis out of existence. However, as Makuma didn't see Denji or the Chainsaw Devil as beneath her, she could not directly control him. She needed to manipulate him. So she decided to build Denji up and then tear him down as cruelly as possible. First, she murdered Denji's found family one by one. Then she made Chainsaw Man into a public hero, stripping him of the power devils received by being feared. Oh, so she could control her precious Chainsaw Devil and make him press backspace on anything she didn't like. Her telekinetic bangs shot the Chainsaw Devil out of orbit, and they stalemated the Darkness Devil, which embodies humanity's greatest fears. Makam is stronger than devils like the Bomb Devil, who can easily blow up buildings, or the Typhoon Devil, which made city-spanning storms. And while fighting the Gun Devil Fragment, this large behemoth moved over 300 miles in a few seconds.
Legends. She was pretty much Holy unbeatable, shit. though ultimate power can make it pretty lonely at the top. Makuma's quest may have been to make the world a better place through domination, but the truth she was never willing to admit to herself was that she really wanted to understand human emotion. After all, you can't control someone and love them at the same time. Too bad she never quite found the answer she was looking for when the Chainsaw Man defeated her once and for all by cutting her to pieces, cooking her into a seven-course feast, and fucking ate her! Believe it or not, the love Makuma tried to understand was her undoing. Despite the hell Wait, she put him what? through, Denji still loved Makuma in his own way. So the act of devouring her was its own act of love and did not count as an attack, bypassing her immortality. Completely batshit insane. That's Chainsaw Man for you. Who knows, Wiz? Eventually, the control devil will come back, though it won't be Makuma. While her path back to hell was paved with good intentions, in the world of devils, it's no surprise that Makuma came so close to her ideal future. What the fuck? I have literally no words for what I just heard. Wow, Chainsaw Man gets fucked. I'm gonna have to make sure to fucking forget all that. Uh, wow, okay. So this is a lot more complicated than meets the eye, I will say. Because while Gojo, I do believe, is probably stronger, obviously, it comes down to it if Gojo can be able to hit Makima with the infinite void, because... Can Makima be able to control Gojo is the question with the chains. And even then, can her bang affect Gojo? But then again, he can also just heal. Hmm. I guess ultimately, it'll just come down if Gojo can be able to hit Makima with the hollow purple. Because if she can, then she's dead. And it's all about if Gojo can heal his head. Because if Makima can just blow away his, Gojo's head, then there's nothing really Gojo can do. I mean, at least I think so. He has been stabbed in the head before with a regular knife, at least I think, and was fine. So... Makima has access to tons and tons of devils, but Gojo has easily been swarmed before, and plus the entirety of Go <laughs> the entirety of Jujutsu Kaisen is literally just swarming on people. So I think Gojo would be fine if he got swarmed on easily. Because he could just use blue or purple, or actually no, just blue to easily take care of any devils that she tries to use. Yeah, I guess ultimately it'll just come down if Gojo can be able to get the killing blow first, or if Makima runs out of people to use. So yeah, that being said, let us get into it. And who do I think will win? I do believe that the Riz Master Gojo will win this. As much as I would like to say that Mami Makima will win this, I do think that the Riz Master Gojo will win this. So let us commence with this fight and let us see what happens. In three, two, one. Abilities. But first, a couple of rules for a unique fight like this one. We'll be considering curses and devils to be comparable beings to avoid arbitrary terminology in their power systems that might make this fight incompatible. We will also consider Gojo and Makuma citizens of the same Japan to balance it out. It's time for a death battle! What is that supposed to mean? Is there not that many people in Chainsaw Man compared to Jujutsu Kaisen? Uh, Love <laughs> this part. Uh, I believe that's the Afro Samurai versus the Samurai Jack death now. <laughs> but I gotta, gotta kill you instead. Lockdown. Can't just let a curse do as they please. <laughs> no talking during the movie. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> huh? First technique lapse. Careful, I could have died. But that much won't matter to you soon. Don't worry. I'm Satoru Gojo, the strongest. <laughs> oh. Confident, strong, and idiotic. We'll be sure to write it on your tombstone. Ooh. Calm. Oh. 
<laughs> I hope we don't kill you too quickly. That should be good, since you're so weak. <laughs> Bang. Wait, what? <laughs> Bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, he hasn't even used his instrument domain yet. Be a good boy yet. and play dead. <laughs> Should I bark too? I'm getting really tired of your pets. Oh. Kojo's <laughs> thing will be Domain expansion. Oh! Did void. <laughs> Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Oh yeah, go Joe, let's do it! <sighs> Sorry, Mario Makima, <laughs> looks like you got rizzed out. And those control devil, 100, 1,012 non-sources from Joe. Oh. Well, Do you shit. think that place is offering discounted tickets or too soon? Too soon. Yeah, I'll order online. Gojo and Makuma were complicated to compare. On the surface level, Gojo had a lot going for him. It's oh, no yeah. surprise given that his reputation in Jujutsu Kaisen is that of its pinnacle. At least it was. First of all, it's unlikely Makuma would see Gojo as inferior to her, in a similar way to how she saw Denji. So she wouldn't be able to immediately control Gojo. Gojo's birth caused a giant shift in the world of curses. Plenty of people have recognized that after only seeing him once. Being better sure. than everyone is literally Gojo's thing. Plus, Gojo automatically refreshes his brain with positive cursed energy 24-7. Even if Makuma could control him, it wouldn't last very long. Gojo is sure. obviously stronger, too. The best feat we can compare Makuma to is the Typhoon Devil's Storms. But that's nothing compared to the meteor created by Jogo, who is leagues below Gojo in strength. However, considering sure. she reacted to the Gun Devil Fragment, Makuma would actually be a bit faster. Though she would need to be able to get past Limitless for her speed to matter. Makuma had more yeah, devils exactly. than you can shake a fin at, but most were rendered moot against Limitless. Knives, fire, bombs, Zombies, it's all stuff Gojo's dealt with before, and with yep. zero issues. And Gojo could easily wipe out her demonic crowd with red and blue whenever he wanted to. The future devil yep. could clue her in on anything nasty coming her way, but that wouldn't last forever. Plus, with Gojo's six eyes and teleportation, she had zero opportunities to break away and set up her instant kill moves. Don't forget about but the infinite Gojo domain. would obviously lose if he couldn't permanently kill Makuma. Six That's eyes it. couldn't inform him of Makuma's contract with the Prime Minister, and eventually one of Gojo's attacks could cause his death instead, even if it took a while. And Makuma did have a way past Limitless with her finger guns. Makuma could land attacks directly on Gojo's body, meaning there's no projectile for Limitless to detect and infinitely slow down. Though when they did land, Gojo's healing ensured that he repaired his body quickly. On the flip yeah. side, Makuma didn't have a counter to Gojo's domain expansion. Unlimited Void overloads its target with unlimited information. It's not really an attack. You could call it an attack on the senses, but even if she could transfer it to other Japanese citizens, she still could not escape an infinite amount of information. We can compare this to the Doll Devil, who was defeated by a technique similar to Unlimited Void. Despite really? being able to transfer her mind across a large number of hosts, the Doll Devil was still trying to transfer infinite information across finite people. Even with all of Japan as mental meat shields, Makuma would still be overwhelmed. Wait, doesn't that mean Gojo just unintentionally killed basically everyone in Japan? Don't think about it. Regardless, Gojo is immune to his own Unlimited Void, so he was still unaffected. Good for him. The moment Unlimited Void landed, Makuma would be stuck, opening her up for a good old hollow purple. Her contract isn't perfect. Makuma only ever regenerated as long as there was some mass to come back from. But hollow purple disintegrates anything it touches to zero. This is true. Also, here we go. Gojo. Stronger. Better area control with red and blue. Hollow purple exceeds Makuma's regeneration. And infinity and RCT count most of Makuma's offenses, but he is notably slower. Huh. Makima faster contract countered some of Gojo's offenses and bang and control chains bypass limit bypass limitless. She is weaker and would not and cannot control Gojo. Makes sense. Literally, there's no way she was regenerating from that. Sure, control as a concept will always exist, but a oh, reincarnation yeah. of the control devil isn't Makima. 
This was one of the craziest fights we've ever had. However, with Gojo's raw power, broken counters, and unbelievably busted Limitless, Makama lost control over this fight. Makama thought she had Gojo by the ball and chain, but in the end, she was left hollow. The winner is Satoru Gojo. The one and only, the Riz Thanks Master himself. Thanks for watching, himself. and hey, are you That's a Deathbound member? That's what I thought, We've got at the same time I didn't right know. Now, where members get to choose a matchup oh, the for the next season. Chance, you know. So click that join button and jump so into our Champions next. Discord. No way. No way, my childhood! Yes! Courage the Cowardly Dog, let's fucking go! Oh my god, Courage the Cowardly Dog is my childhood. Oh my fucking god. This is great. Same with Scooby-Doo. Oh, uh, who would win? I don't know. I think, honestly, Courage. Because Courage the Cowardly Dog has actually shown that they actually face paranormal stuff. Scooby-Doo, they face... I mean, I think on the odd chance they sometimes face paranormal stuff. Keyword being sometimes in the cartoons. But most of the time, what they fought is just adults using practical effects. While Courage has actually fought legitimate, like, monsters and demons and such, and have come out on top. On top. So, this will have to be one I'm going to have to look into more further, but let's talk about the death battle now. Which was the Gojo versus Makima. The Riz Master Gojo beat, Ma beat Mami Makima. And, and yeah, that honestly does seem like it would make the most sense for it, for that to happen. I have not seen the rest of Jujutsu Kaisen, because I still have yet to see the Shibuya Incident arc, because it is out, I still have yet to watch it, and I have not seen a lot more of Chainsaw Man, because I would like to see more, it just, not, it's just, nothing more is available to watch, and I don't have the manga to read it. But anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, if you guys would like to see the reaction to Scooby-Doo vs. Courage Cowardly Dog, please leave a like, but please leave a like down below, and comment down below, also, if you guys would like to see that. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more. And as always, <coughs> stay cool, guys. Peace.